Okay, so let's talk about the oxides of nitrogen. Generally, in our atmosphere, we are having nitrogen as well as oxygen, both are present. But then also, they don't react to make oxides of nitrogen, NO2 or N2O. So, ये क्यों नहीं react होता है? Because the reaction needs energy, and that energy is available at very high temperature. So, this is only possible if the temperature is very high, and that high temperature is available in The combustion engine, जो गाड़ी का इंजिन होता है ना उसके अंदर द टेम्परेचर इज वेरी हाई एंड इन दैट केस ऑक्सीजन एंड नाइट्रोजन कैन कंबाइन टू मेक ऑक्साइड्स ऑफ नाइट्रोजन सो इफ यू आर बर्निंग एनीथिंग यू आर प्रोड्यूसिंग ऑक्साइड्स ऑफ नाइट्रोजन राइट प्रॉब्लम प्रॉब्लम से रिलेटेड टू ऑक्साइड्स ऑफ नाइट्रोजन दे कैन फॉर्म स्मोग वट इज स्मोग Yes, it is the fog plus smoke. So whatever smoke is coming from your vehicle, it combines with the fog and make a turbid uh, climate, a non-visible climate. All white, white, white. Whatever you see in the winter is smoke. White, white situation. So that is smoke. Also, they are responsible for the acid rain. What is acid rain? When an O2, when an O2 combines. With water, it forms HNO3. HNO3 is nitric acid, and nitric acid dissolved in water or rainwater produces acid rain, and acid rain is very harmful. And how can we prevent this? How can we prevent this? As I told you, nitrogen and oxygen can combine only at high temperature. So don't go for the high temperature. Even in your engine, even in your stove, in your even in your burning. अगर हम लोग वही process we can do at a lower temperature, we can avoid the formation of oxide of nitrogen. And that can be done using catalytic converter. What is catalytic converter? There are some kind of catalyst which can do the same reaction, like carbon को oxygen से react कर देंगे, but that reaction can happen at a lower temperature. तो लोअर टेम्परेचर पर रिएक्शन हो रही है तो नाइट्रोजन ऑक्साइड नहीं बनेगा ओनली कार्बन विल बर्न एंड प्रोड्यूस द एनर्जी सो दैट कैन बी डन इन अ लोअर टेम्परेचर सो दैट ऑक्साइड ऑफ नाइट्रोजन आर नॉट फॉर्म एंड ओजोन इज आल्सो नॉट फॉर्म देयर इज वन वन डिजीज नोन एज ओएडेमा ओएडेमा द नेम प्लीज रिमेंबर द नेम ओएडेमा इज अ सिचुएशन वेयर द लंग वेयर द लंग आर फिल्ड With the water, the capillaries of the lungs are filled with the water, and that is known as oedema. Who is responsible for that? High amount of NO2, increased amount of NO2 can cause oedema. So this is the effect of NO2 on the health, on the human health, right? So now other thing is sulfur dioxide as well as sulfur trioxide. Sulfur dioxide, SO2, SO2 and SO3, they are also pollutants. And the major source is volcano. Major source is volcano. When volcano erupts, then they produce huge amount of sulfur dioxide as well as sulfur trioxide. These also there are some sources like uh, vehicular emissions or industry. They are also producing sulfur dioxide as well as sulfur trioxide. And the major problem with this is acid rain. Acid rain. As I told you, sulfur trioxide can combine with the water, forming sulfuric acid. And sulfuric acid is responsible for the acid rain. Both nitric acid as well as sulfuric acid. Smoke and effects on the marbles as well as building. Acids can destroy your building, your marbles and other things. So, and they are also responsible for the respiratory or lung diseases. Lung diseases. So these are some of them. How can we prevent this? So how can we avoid this? As I told you, the sulfur trioxide or SO3 combines with water, forming H2SO4, right? ये एसिड रेन का फॉर्मूला है बट दिस रिएक्शन इज हैपनिंग इन द एटमोस्फियर विच कैन ऑल्सो बी डन इन अ स्मॉल बॉटल इन अ स्मॉल बॉटल सो इफ इन अ बॉटल आई टेक एस टू ओ एंड आई पास द सल्फर ट्राइऑक्साइड एस ओ थ्री तो क्या हो जाएगा इट विल बी कन्वर्टेड इन टू 
H2SO4 and we have H2SO4 in my bottle. So I can sell that acid to the market and I can generate the money. So the reaction atmosphere may be here. We can do the same reaction in a bottle and we can produce one extra product. So bahar karne se achha nahi kalo sara reaction right. So we will have extra product and atmosphere is also clean. So that is the one possibility where we can produce sulfuric acid in with the our effluent or with the waste gases. We can produce sulfuric acid or nitric acid with the waste of gases. The gases atmosphere में डाल रहे थे. We can do use that gases to produce some extra work. Other things are there are some chemical scrubbers, some carbonates which can easily absorb gases. These are some chemicals. They can absorb sulfur dioxide, sulfur dioxide, or nitrogen oxide. So they can be used for for removing these type of gases. This is one condition. This is one condition mainly because of the high amount of sulfur dioxide. Sulfur dioxide it produces the burning sensation in eye, burning sensation, irritation as well as uh, watering of the eyes. So these can be produced by the sulfur trioxide. कभी तुमने feel किया है कि कहीं पे बहुत ज़्यादा vehicles हैं डर-डर कर रहे हैं and you feel कि धुएँ से तुम्हारी आँख में eyes में problem हो रहा है. So that is because of the sulfur dioxide. Also, they are responsible for the respiratory tract. Means breathing system. Breathing system के लिए they are also responsible or causing asthma. Asthma. Okay. The next part is is suspended particles or solid particles. So you can imagine in your air if there are solid particles present or not. Can you say that the, this room is free from the solid particles? No, no because these solid particles, in general terms, we say they are dust. Dust are solid particles which is available in the atmosphere. So if I close this room for two days, then what will happen? Every dust particle will settle here, and you can say that there were already so many solid particles in the chamber. In the chamber, so that is known as suspended particulate matter or SPM. So, from is SPM or suspended particulate matter. They are solid. They are solid. Generally, bigger particles can be easily filtered with our nostrils. Our nose can be so bad, na? They can easily filter the bigger particles, but smaller particles are more dangerous because they cannot be filtered. And they can pass easily inside our lungs, and they can choke the lungs also. They can choke the lungs also. The size is from micrometers to some 500 microns. So these are the size. This can be solid particle, liquid particle also. So if you are using some spray, so much of spray, and you are putting a lot of liquid particles in the atmosphere, they are also going in your breathing. They are also going into your lungs. So that is not advised. Mostly, these particles they contain lead, cadmium, mercury, etc. All these dangerous metals. So they are very dangerous for our lungs and our health. Also, they can also cause the corrosion or destroying the building materials. Also, they can do that as well as smoke and fog. They can cause problem to the visibility. So there will not be visibility and chances of accident. Clear? Yes. So how can we prevent them? How can we prevent them? Solid suspended particles. How can we prevent them? Come, tell me. और कुछ द बेस्ट वे इज टू चेंज योर हैबिट द बेस्ट वे इज टू चेंज योर हैबिट घर कैसे साफ करते हो तुम लोग बाय झाड़ू से एंड स्वीपिंग एंड अदर थिंग्स राइट बट दैट इज नॉट द बेस्ट वे ऑफ क्लीनिंग बिकॉज इट इज अगेन मूविंग द पार्टिकल्स इन द एटमोस्फेयर वट एवर इज सेटल इन द नाइट You are again putting it in the atmosphere. It is not visible, but then also you are doing the same thing. So, how can we clean our house? Use of vacuum cleaner is advisable. Vacuum cleaners they suck the things and they capture these particles. Now, let's talk about in general about the air pollution. 
तो ये सब तो कुछ कुछ मटेरियल हो गया कुछ कुछ गैसेज हो गए पोल्यूटेंट हो गए बट लेट्स टॉक अबाउट इन जनरल व्हाट आर द मेजर सोर्सेस ऑफ एयर पोल्यूशन और कॉजेज ऑफ एयर पोल्यूशन तो दे आर टू पाइट वन इज नेचुरल वन इज नेचुरल कॉजेज एंड इन दिस केस ऑल द नेचुरल डिजास्टर लाइक साइक्लोन अर्थक्वेक वर्ल्ड ऑल दीज आर द नेचुरल सोर्सेज ऑफ डस्ट एज वेल एज गैसेज so they can emit they can put a lot of pollution inside the air other things are like forest fire fire they also produce huge amount of gases as well as solid particles ashes and so many things so these are some of the things then wind and ye kya hai what is this yes this is a photograph of the pollen grain pollen grains kya hote hain it is the powdery material inside the flower so if you are trying to take the smell of the flower and they are going inside they are the solid particles they can cause the allergy again and you can feel the sneezing and so many things so they are also natural pollutants the powdery material inside the flower so they are pollen grain and what causes me there are construction work industries household things as well as automobile so these are some of the common sources of air pollution what are the effects now effects of air pollution first of all on human health human health ke upar kya effect padta hai air pollution ka yes solid particles or metal particles they can cause damage to respiratory system blood vessels as well as excretory system so they can cause so many diseases they can cause so many diseases bronchio constriction bronchio constriction ye jo delicate tube hai na it goes on smaller 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 aur dheere dheere sikudti jati hai so that tube goes on constriction so that is bronchio constriction and it is the initial stage of the asthma this is initial stage of the asthma later on there is a bigger chances of asthma and then there are different types of cancers caused by air pollution so these are some of the effects on human being human health this is the chart which shows the overall death in the world because of the dust particles kabhi socha tumne dust particles se bhi kisi ki death ho sakti hai मोस्ट पॉपुलर कंट्रीज आर चाइना एंड इंडिया मोस्ट पॉपुलर नहीं पॉल्यूटेड कंट्रीज आर चाइना एंड इंडिया चाइना में तो ऐसी ऐसी सिटीज है जहां पे की मास्क के बगैर जा ही नहीं सकते हम लोग so they are highly polluted and you without mask you cannot go in that places and because of the dust particles maximum people are dying in these areas and sabse best best precaution kya hai how can we treat this change our habits change our habits don't don't fit kya kehte hain sab kuch properly agar karenge to sab kuch ho jayega there is no need of medicine no need of anything but just avoid the air pollution plant so we have already discussed the effect of air pollution on human health now let's talk about plant band karo band karo computer band karo hmm. okay so large amount of high concentration of sulfur dioxide high concentration of sulfur dioxide produces one disease named as chlorosis what is the name chlorosis and it is the decay of chlorophyll chlorophyll if plants are losing chlorophyll that means they become something like this something like this they lose the greenness greenness is because of the chlorophyll or if they are not green that means they cannot produce their food they cannot produce their food and that is the situation chlorosis name of the situation is chlorosis caused by sulfur dioxide similarly no2 no2 high concentration of no2 leads 
नार्किटिक पैचेस और स्पॉट ये देखा है किसी ने ऐसे स्पॉट सो दिस इंडिकेट हाई अमाउंट ऑफ एन ओ टू इन द एटमोस्फियर इफ देर इज हाई अमाउंट ऑफ एन ओ टू इन द एटमोस्फियर दिस टाइप ऑफ पैचेस आर सीन इन द प्लांट so you can imagine you can see ki this atmosphere is what is the effect of carbon monoxide and carbon dioxide on the plants no actually me there is no effect of carbon monoxide and carbon dioxide because they can take the carbon dioxide it is good for them but then also if there is large amount of carbon dioxide concentration bahut zyada hai so plants cannot survive If limited concentration is okay, but high concentration is not good for them also. So that is the effect of carbon monoxide as well as carbon dioxide on the plants. And what are the effects on the climate? What are the main effects on the climate? First of all, greenhouse. ये मैंने बता दिया already. I have explained. Should I repeat it? So the radiation are coming and going back to the space. We reflected radiation going back to the space, but because of the high concentration of carbon dioxide, the radiation are trapped inside the atmosphere, and because of the temperature increases, temperature increase is known as global warming, and because of that, ice caps they are melting and the level of sea is rising. So that is greenhouse effect. Greenhouse effect. Second is acid rain. Acid rain. Generally, whatever anything is coming, it reacts with the water, sulfur dioxide, and nitrogen dioxide. They produce acid in the in the water, and whatever water is falling. Hmm. So whatever water is falling, that contains large amount of acid, and you can see they can damage the marbles and statues and buildings also. So ये जो damage हुआ है, that is because of the acid rain. There is always a question on Taj Mahal that it is affected by the acid rain. Yes, and the last is depletion of ozone layer. Ozone layer. There is a ozone layer on the surface of the Earth, but this is destroyed by which chemical? Yes, CFC or chlorofluorocarbon. Then it is destroyed. Then UV radiation can easily pass or easily come to the surface of the Earth, and they can cause skin cancer easily. तो अगर सोसाइटी लेयर नहीं है तो यूवी रेस कैन इजीली पास तो दैट इज ओजोन लेयर डिप्लेसिंग